Hello guys! Today I want to suggest you to test your Laravel skills again. Topic of today is authentication tests. So basic Laravel auth. Do you know everything about it, how it works and how to customize it? This is the test number three of the series of my so-called let's test your Laravel skills. And I even created a playlist now on YouTube. So if you go to my Laravel daily channel, here's the playlist. So playlist, test your Laravel skills. Two videos are there already from previous weeks and this will be the video number three around auth. And this will be just a basic auth so we don't touch rows and permissions, we don't touch something like Laravel Sanctum API authentication, those will be in separate tests. Today is Laravel auth with seven tasks. So first you need to protect routes by auth middleware, then you need to hide or show some links depending on logged in users or not, then you need to make profile editing work so profile fields visible and then update so visually it would look like this. So by default the project is almost based on Laravel Breeze starter kit but with a lot of changes to make things intentionally fail and your task is to fix it. So that profile menu item should not be visible for non-logged in user and if you are logged in this should be not question marks, these should show the actual name and email of the person and there are more tasks like email verification or password confirmation so for separate URLs like secret page or very secret page those rules should be applied and also password validation with additional rule. So it seems simple, but for that you need to know everything about the authentication. All of the answers or majority of the answers could be found in authentication official documentation. And as usual, it will all be covered by automated tests. So if you run PHP artisan test on the repository, by default it will all failed. So eight failed tests. And your task is to make it clear, to make it green. And to make a pull request to the main branch, which would be tested automatically by GitHub Actions. If you don't know how to make a pull request, I have a video here linked in the readme file. If you don't know how that GitHub Actions work with PHP unit tests, I have a separate video on how did I set that up, so it may be interesting for you. So example of a failed test would be this GitHub Action, which passed when I made a push to the repository, and it automatically launches PHP unit tests with all failed tests with error messages. So if you submit your pull request, the automated check will run and you will see this check mark under your pull request, which means that it succeeded, or you will find an X, which means it failed and you can go to details and fix those and submit the pull request again or commit to the same branch to the pull request, which will force the test to run automatically again. And this is an example from a previous test about Blade Basics and you can participate in that as well. And I will link that in the description below the playlist. So there were 54 pull requests for the Blade Basics. Let's see how many we get for the authentication test. And again, this test is a part of my Laravel learning path roadmap, kind of a mission, so to speak. So I've created the topics listed in a certain order on how you would learn Laravel and improve your skills. And topic by topic, I want to create tests like this one on GitHub. So you would be able to test yourselves going deeper and deeper in Laravel. So you should expect a new test every week or so. If I'm able to stick to schedule, we'll see how it happens. And if you have any suggestions on how to improve those tests, you can open GitHub issue on the repository or comment down below on YouTube video. And if you want to thank me for taking my time to prepare those tests, the best way would be to purchase one of my courses or even better yearly membership to my courses, which is now 500 people or more 500 plus people already purchased that. In that way, you're getting all the 22 courses at the moment. Currently, I'm shooting a new course about GraphQL, which will be released in November 2021. So you can get all of that with yearly membership and support this YouTube channel to get more free daily videos. Subscribe to the channel and see you guys in other videos.